So the Koji Hard Shake, which has been probably our most iconic drink. It's a whiskey sour at its heart. It's also a really nice celebration of the spirit itself and trying to, I suppose, break down what people think scotch is gonna taste like. The recipe for the Koji Hard Shake has its origins in the work that we were doing with with Ariel, who's helped out with our restaurant club. She's head of R&D at, at Restaurant Noma. Um, and when we were setting the scene of Dandelion, you know, this, this exploration of modern botany, we had four different designations that we were trying to explore. And one of the categories was the idea of cereal. Um, so we took this cereal and we applied a sacrifying mold, the, the, the same mold that's used in the production of, of miso or in soy sauce and it develops this incredible florality, a really fruity note that works really well to complement the fruitier notes in a blended whiskey. We use a little bit of licorice bitters, gives a nice sweet spice in the background, helps bridge the other flavors together. Cream, just a touch, adds body and extra fattiness, holds the flavors on the palate a little longer. A bit of our koji syrup to complement the fruitier notes in a blended whiskey. We use classically egg white as a kind of binding agent. So again, gives it this weight, this luxurious feel to it. A little bit of lemon juice and then a blended scotch. Dry shake, then shake them with cubed ice, strained over two cubes in a low bowl and garnished with a toasted truffle marshmallow. It's got a little bit of that bitterness, the char, and then that lovely kind of nice, rich, nostalgic sweetness. And you can't also doubt the, the, the allure of a toasted marshmallow and that aroma wafting across the room. You know, you spark up the blowtorch and it really immediately draws people in. It's a, it's a drink that is a little unusual. You know, you can chat to your friends and go, my drink has a weird mold in it. But you also can celebrate the fact that it's got this, this great flavor profile to it. And that, you know, it doesn't matter if you're excited by the backstory, you can get a delicious drink at the end of it.